guys in today's video i'll be telling you the keys to success while a lot of people might be out there asking where is the key to success or what is the key to success i'm here to tell you that there's no single key to success there are in fact several keys to success and you you alone have the key to your success story you have the lock and you hold the key and it's always up to you to unlock it I am Uju of Ideal Style. If you are new here and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Do click on the subscribe button and let's get right into the video. Give yourself deadlines. Force yourself to achieve a tax that you already set for yourself. If you have to get to the fifth floor and you are taking the stairs, is the steps that you, you take single steps. You, you can't take your leg all the way to the fifth floor you have to take the steps one after the other so taking small steps can lead you to your ultimate goal and for you to take these small steps you have to push yourself to take because sometimes if you don't set deadlines for yourself you know you will not actually do it a lot of people shall have it easy like they can just wake up and say and say okay i'll do this and they'll actually do it and then next i'll do that and they'll do it and so on but everybody doesn't have it easy like that it doesn't come easy to everybody like me it doesn't come easy to me if i have something i want to do tomorrow and i don't plan it out today in details there's a good possibility i won't do it it's even as simple as having an vocation if i don't plan what i'm going to wear what time i'm going to wake up what time i'll start dressing what time i'll start my makeup what time i'm leaving the house then i am not there's a, in fact there's already a 70 percent chance that i will not attend that occasion so set deadlines for yourself make up your mind that every single day you are going to do so, something that will take you one step closer to your dream and do it don't underestimate the power of the mind the mind works wonders more than we know once you fix your mind to something it's actually difficult to come out of it and you are exactly as your mind is i kind of remember one time when i was a whole lot younger and i think i was in junior school i was in junior class and somebody told me that if if i can read every day i'm going to be i'm going to top the class or i'll be at least one of those who tops the class the person told me that if you do something every single day you get used to it and even when you wake up from sleep immediately wake up from sleep you can do that thing or say that thing without stammering and then i decided to take it up i decided that i made i set goals for myself and i set deadlines i decided that every single day when i come back i'm going to read everything on what i was taught on that day because i kind of had about 13 13 subjects for the whole thing and then i had at least six classes a day so i decided that when i come back every day i'll read everything on what i had for that particular day then during the weekends when i don't have to go to school i'll read everything from the beginning of the term on all of my subjects and it began to pay off i was literally one of those topping the class like without shaking so i saw that it began to pay off and my mind because this was something i did over days over months and even years i got so used to it every single day i can't actually go to bed without having to read what i was supposed to read and there was even i recount a day self that i was so busy playing or doing all that charging all that things i think it was a weekend and and then it was 10 o'clock at 9, 10 p.m. before I started reading for the day. It was a weekend and of course, I had to read everything I had for the whole thing on my subject. We're already at the middle of the term, so there was so much to read. And it was so late and I brought out all of my books and I started reading and it was getting late and I was, I was not, I haven't even gone so far by 12 a.m. I hadn't even gone so far. So I kept reading and I started crying. <laughs> I kept reading and I started crying. Like I was so hot that 
I've not gone anywhere and it's already 12 a.m. I'm very soon to be time for school because it was on a Sunday evening. So my mind was already accustomed to the fact that I had to read this. It didn't even dawn on me that I can actually go to bed without reading for that for that day. It didn't dawn on me that I would not die if I did not read for that day. It was until my dad came out and asked me to just go. He was like, would you just go to bed? You've tried. Would you go to bed? You've tried. That was when my mind even, like, like it, that was when it dawned on me that I can actually go to bed and I will not die if I don't read for just today, only today. So that's it. That's how the mind works. Whatever you fix your mind to is what your mind would go with. Your mind goes with the flow you set for it so the mind works wonders and if you can actually set your mind to your goals you are definitely going to achieve it a man is just as he thinks whatever is inside of you is what reflects out so try to set deadlines and force yourself to achieve them whenever you are once you are used to achieving those set deadlines it will be difficult for you to not achieve them no matter what the situation is have an i will never quit attitude i would never give up attitude this attitude is it takes a lot to have this kind of attitude because it's actually not easy you want to tell your success story with a smile on your face you have to be ready to go all the way and not quit if you listen to a lot of people who are telling their success story they can tell you things like okay i i, I did this i suffered i started with five naira and now i have one million i roasted corn i did this it's not motivation it's not a motivational you might feel it they're just doing they're talking too much but but these challenges are real they're actually real whatever you want to do you are going to face challenges definitely there's there's no way out you are definitely going to face at least one two three if not one million challenges but your ability to actually move far past this challenge is what will define you is what will make you different and that's what's going to set you apart from other people you have to accept that having a challenge is always going to be part of this journey it's when a challenge comes by that you actually get to know what you really you get to know that you either really want this or you really don't want it because 90% of people actually shut down or or just stop when there's a challenge so you for you to be different and move past this average point you have to be ready to move past this challenge it's just important that you take the lessons you learned from this challenge and move forward I have this never quit attitude and be consistent and all not being consistent is different from taking short breaks to rest you you can actually take if you feel too overwhelmed sometimes you can just rest take beats take small small time to rest at all but being consistent and never quitting is important if you see someone who actually goes to the gym someone who has gone to the gym for like six months you've had you've gone to the gym for six months you've gotten this banging body or all the six packs that you want and then you you break out of consistency only let me just say just for two or three months you are going to see the difference in your body just because you took you you broke out of this consistent routine for three months it'll be a difference actually and when you even decide to come back it's like starting all over from the beginning so why not just continue what am i saying <laughs> continue on your consistent level if you have the never give up attitude you are definitely going to go past challenges and you're going to get to your success point before you can even be on your journey to your success story you have to be able to set clear goals and have strong purposes it's just like saying you you cannot get to a destination that you don't know about you need to know where you're going to so that you can know how to get to it or which routes you're going to take to get to it if you have a strong purpose and you already set your goals and you are clear on what exactly you want 
there's nothing that will actually shake you off of it no negative talk can shake you off no challenge can shake you off so you can even write them out and read them out to yourself every day it will be in your subconscious and when something is in your subconscious you are always thinking of ways to achieve it, it reminds you that you have to take steps every day every single day because everything you do on the daily is either bringing you closer to your goals or taking you away from it so when you have these clear goals you have to set the short-term goals and also the long-term goals and it will help you be well placed on your way to achieving your goal next is to believe that you have what it takes to be anything you want i never said you need to believe you can be anything it's, there's a difference now let me tell you why it is different or oh, let me let me tell you a story so one time in the past i got talking to somebody and this person was telling me exactly what he really wants his big dreams like how he wants to own a tech company and how big he wants it you need to hear how big his dreams was and all of that and then we talked on to the point of how he intends to achieve this dream and next he was telling me was that one time his uncle was at the government house and he did something for for them and the, the governor was like asking him what he wanted very badly and his uncle said it and he got it so and this was also how he feels he actually might be lucky and then when he gets when he hits a contract like that or when he hits a jackpot like that then he'll start his tech company okay that came as a shock in fact that was like that gave me the biggest shock that whole year because i don't get how you can have a dream and wait on luck to start it up or because what are the chances no let's be realistic what are the chances that he was going to be as lucky as his uncle if, if you are watching this i'm sorry i'm sharing this but then to be honest i just feel he did not want to own this tech company enough that's why he's waiting on luck to even start it up he, do, he, he believes that he can actually own a tech company or he can actually go into tech big time but he did not believe that he had what it takes because it's always up to you to actually nobody can come from the blues and help you start up your dream or help you take you through the journey of achieving your dreams or getting to success it's up to you you have to take those steps i'm sure there are just small steps you can take how about he started by registering this company that is a step that is a step that will arrange his mind towards taking other steps i am not an expert and i absolutely know nothing about tech but to be honest i am sure there is a step he can take i'm sure he can start from somewhere there's something he can do that will, that will just set him up and start up like small 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 things like somebody who intends to run a, a good restaurant sometime in the future can start somewhere can start from home i know people who actually prepares meals at home and deliver to people in their homes this person has started somewhere and tomorrow now who knows so that's it and this takes me to my next point which is educating yourself and pursuing knowledge non-stop knowledge is power it is not cap knowledge is power if you if there's something you want to do learn about it learn from people who already have these success stories learn from people who have been there read books on what you want to do there's always somebody who you look up to who has gotten to this point so look for these people ask them questions listen to what they have to say and challenges they met read books on what you want to do you can never you can never learn too much there's so much to learn and the world is constantly evolving it's evolving very fast and if you if you don't learn and and follow up you'll be left behind every single day that you wake up from sleep there's something new that's come up because if you think back at the past there's a whole lot of things that existed then that don't e a whole lot of things that exist now that never existed in the past a lot of people are bringing up new inventions think about all the new inventions that is making life easier 
there are things that will just come out you'll be like oh my god this is such a great invention people who invented this thing took their time to learn they never stopped learning they kept learning and they kept trying new things and that was how they were able to come up with new things sometimes you learn about something and this takes you to a whole different idea so if you have something you want to do learn about it you can never stop learning if you feel you are someone who knows it all then i'm sorry you are not moving forward because if you already know it all <laughs> there's no need learning something else and if you don't learn something else you can't do new things you can't move forward you just be stuck stuck in your stagnant stage something else you should do is to take risks accept that making mistakes is part of life because it is it's easier to say i can admit it's easier to say to take risks don't be afraid of failure but but to be honest they are great rewards most of the biggest success stories are have their stories as people who took risks they took the biggest risks they were ready to put everything on the line like they were ready to give all that they have to get what they want that's why people say take risks take risks when you are younger it's always better because you have time you have time to make mistakes you have time to patch it up you have time to bounce back you have literally almost nothing to lose when you take risks when you are younger take it take all the do everything you want to there's something you want to do do it work for it don't be afraid it might not be very easy if you want to be above average you want to live above an average life then you have to do what an average person is not doing and that is taking risks an average person will not take the extra step an average person will not take risks and it's not as if those who are average and us human beings it's not just what they want it's, it's actually okay if it's not what they want but if it is what you want you want this extra ordinary life you want extra you don't want to be average then you have to do something different you might fail yes and you can also pass when you fail you learn from it you take what you what you've learned from your failure to the next challenge and all these failures have are stories to tell and memories that are there for. so guys if you noticed i never give a particular definition of what success is well this is because a whole lot of people have different definitions of success and your definition of success might not be my definition of success like for some people having fame is what success means to them some other people being wealthy and very rich like material things matter to them a lot and that's what success means to them while another person can feel success to him is creating something that will mean a difference in the world or make or just even putting a smile on somebody's face so success can mean anything absolutely anything your meaning of success might mean failure to me is actually normal because everybody is different but the most important thing for you to do is to define what success really means to you and work towards it so guys we've come to the end of this video if you enjoyed it give me a big thumbs up subscribe leave me a comment in the comment section and i'll be sure to answer and i'll see you in my next bye